Today I'm gonna be talking about postpartum depression and what it really looks like. Cause I know I got like a lot of moms that watch me and you know stuff like that. So first of all, I want to talk about how doing post doing postpartum depression, like you might have really scary thoughts. Like you might have you might find yourself thinking stuff like, oh, why would I think that? Like for example, like um you can be like, what if I die? What if what if the baby dies? Or what if the baby? It's not funny. Or what if the baby falls off the diaper changing table and breaks her or his leg or breaks their leg? Like crazy thoughts. Like, you know, I remember I used to have these thoughts and I used to be like, you need to stop. You need to stop. You're crazy. Like, you know what I mean? But, um, or you might have very bad images. Like I just said, of seeing your baby get hurt really, really bad. Like gory images, like grotesque. Like, you know what I mean? Because you can't stop thinking about it or picturing these bad things. But um, these scary thoughts can be indirect or passive. Like for example, of an indirect or passive thought, it can be that something may, like something may happen to the baby, like I just said, or thoughts or images of stabbing the child. Like it's been research shown that a lot of new moms or just moms in general, like after they've had a baby, have had images or thoughts of them stabbing the child, like crazy stuff. Like, and I want you to know if like you had these thoughts or these feelings that it doesn't mean that you're psychotic. Like this is literally a symptom of po post postpartum depression and it's very normal like you're not alone like I've had crazy images and thoughts and like I didn't want to tell anybody or even my therapist I thought he was gonna like take my baby away and send me to a crazy hospital but in reality no like these are just symptoms of postpartum depression so like you're not alone um yeah. and the scary thoughts can be um postpartum OCD um diagnosis don't just diagnose yourself or it can be symptoms of post, post of postpartum depression um, so it's, there are different types of depression. Um, so it can be pre, per, peri, perinatal depression is before, during, or after pregnancy. Um, antenatal depression is during pregnancy. Postpartum is four to six weeks after pregnancy. Um, and it's also like baby blues, but baby blues isn't permanent. Like it's mostly sadness, irritability, um, sleeping problems, and it resolves within 10 days. Like it's, you're not depressed. You're just sad a little bit and you can just hop back up and then just get on with your life. But like postpartum depression and all the other depressions that I just named, like it does not just snap back. You know what I mean? Okay. So postpartum depression is like it's a deeper level of sadness used like to your core like your soul it feels it's a feeling of hopelessness worthlessness you have trouble functioning like for example like you might you might before you before you had a baby you might have always got up in the morning took a shower at 7 a.m and worked out or called your friends and talked to your friends at a certain time but now uh-uh she doing too much but now like you're unable to do these things or you might have taken a trash out three times a week but now you find yourself only taking the trash out once a month or once a week like these are symptoms of postpartum depression or like or whatever you used to do and now it seems really hard to do it like almost impossible like you know and that those are symptoms of postpartum depression and, but this lasts between weeks months or even years you know what i mean so it's different than just baby blues you feel me so, so postpartum depression versus regular depression, um, they're very similar. So if you've been depressed before you had a baby, they're probably very similar symptoms. For example, you have a very poor appetite or you may lose appetite in, in all, like as a whole. Like you ever heard that song by Inerly Chopper and he's like D-E-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N and he's, it's a song by Inerly Chopper and he's talking about, and he's basically saying he's depressed and he, he can't sleep, he can't eat, he lost his appetite. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's literally like. That's depression. Like he talk, he's not a mom. So like he has depression, but postpartum depression, you may feel them same exact symptoms. You feel me? Okay. And then, um, like I said, yeah. And then, um, and then this can happen as soon as seven, 72 hours after birth. Like it's a complete switch. You know, when you're a mom, like your life changes instantly. Like it's no other change as instant as becoming a mother. Like you feel me? Yeah. Get out of my face. Um, so also like postpartum depression, some symptoms can be like you're more self-focused. 
um like and, and you're ruminative whether it be over stuff you don't like about yourself um your body image or the fact that oh my god i have a baby now and i'm a bad mom you're focused on yourself because you don't feel good you know what i mean and then and so so then you may think oh my god like so because you're focused on yourself, you're emotionally disconnected from your baby. So you may look at your baby and absolutely feel nothing. And I want you to know that this is normal. Like, like, I, cause, cause you know, like in movies and TV shows and people be faking on the internet and all that other stuff. Like right after they have a baby, oh, they be like, oh my God, bitch, it don't always be like that. Like you might look at your baby right after you had your baby and feel absolutely nothing. And that's like, that's a normal reaction. And that's a normal reaction to having a child. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of women deal with this, but they're afraid to speak out because they think society wants to shun them. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, you have a beautiful baby. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, people think motherhood is not all flowers, rainbows, and it's not really always, like, hallelujah. The fuck? Like, sometimes you be, like, especially right after you have a child, like, you may look at your child and, like, feel completely disconnected. And because of this, you may, like, eye contact with your child. You may find yourself never really looking at your child. You may, um, you, your body language may show like certain social cues to your child and your baby picks up on these nonverbal cues. You know what I mean? So it can affect your baby in a lot of different ways. Um, so because of this, because you're caught up in your head doing postpartum depression, you're, you're, you, you can't like, you're not sensitive to your child's cues. So for example, right after, my baby's one now. So like right when I had her, I was like getting really frustrated because I was like, she crying. Like, what is she crying about? Like, I don't know what you want. You know what I mean? And it's like very frustrating, but it's probably because it's because I had postpartum depression. So I was in my head and I was sad and I was depressed. So I'm not really in tune all the way to figure out what she needs. So like, if you're very frustrated after you first had your child, just know it's going to get easier. Like, you might be dealing with postpartum depression. I'm not telling you you're depressed. Please don't knock down light. She be this close. Please. Okay, let me start before she get hyped. Yeah, like I said, you might, um, please, please, please stay over there. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, like, you might not. So... Oh my gosh. Please. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh. What are you doing? Just go the other way. No. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please make up your mind. Make up your mind. I, oh my gosh. I'm going to be right back. I don't even remember what I was talking about. But yeah, basically, when you're caught up in your head, you're not as sensitive to your child's cues. So you might feel like you're a bad mom because you don't understand why your baby's crying. You don't understand why your baby's fussy or anything like that. But it doesn't really mean you're a bad mom. It means that you're probably just going through a lot mentally. Um, and it's a lot of things that can cause postpartum depression. Like, there's a lot of studies that show, like, what could possibly cause it. But it's a... it's. It can be personality. It can be because you've been depressed before. You've had a history of depression. It's, it's a lot to do with the dropping hormone levels. Like your hormone levels are still getting back to normal even a year after you've had your baby, you know. And 10 to 20% of women who um, get postpartum depression after they've had a baby, because like I said before, they've been depressed previously. Also, you probably might have a little higher rate of being um, having postpartum depression if you had bipolar disorder. Um 25, you're 25 to 40 percent more likely to um, to have postpartum depression if you have bipolar disorder, and sometimes it can be really unsafe for a baby to be around a mom when she has bipolar disorder because um, it can go into postpartum psychosis and they may harm the baby. You know, so it's a lot of different stuff that can go on. You know, um, it doesn't happen. Postpartum depression doesn't happen because it's something you do or something you didn't do co correctly. You know what I mean? So like, don't blame yourself for being depressed. And also, if you're not happy like people expect you to be, it's okay. Like, it's normal. Like, these, a lot of these people never even had kids. When a lot of people who have kids are faking. Period. Um, it's because it has a lot to do with me, the way media portrays Lifetime movies be lying. Um, and they portray motherhood as something that's just not what it is. It's not reality. Um, and a lot of a lot of times the symptom of postpartum depression, you can look at your baby and feel no joy. Like this is this is normal. This happens. It's okay. It's not who you are. This is not who you are when you look at your baby. You have no joy. It's more so. Oh my god. I'm beat. No, I'm playing. 
She just knocked down my light, the whole feng shui, everything. But anyway, like I said, the media portrays mothers as motherhood is like rainbows, flowers, and um, popsicles and sprinkles and cherries on top of shit. And it's really not even always like that. Um, so it's not, it's, it's okay if you look at your baby and at the beginning and, um, or even a little bit after you have a child and like feel no joy. Um, it's not who you are. This is not a reflection of who you are. It's an, um, it's an illness that you have and it's, and it's affecting how you think you have a, it's a thinking problem that you have. Um, and taking care of a newborn is hard. Like, you know what I mean? Like your whole life changes. It's a 24 seven job. Um, I remember when I read once that having taking care of a newborn is like having two full-time jobs. Having a child is like having two full-time jobs. Who know how to do that? Thank you very much. Also, um, if you want, if you're watching this video, and you want to know, do I have postpartum depression? Um, it's a, it's called it's like a, you can take certain tests online, and the specific one that I that I um researched from a from a psychiatrist. She's a black psychiatrist. It's called the Inberg Postnatal Depression Scale, and I'll I'll find it and I'll put it down in the link below. Um, it's ten questions take about and it takes about five minutes to see if you you are having symptoms of post postpartum depression if you do have PPD, which is postpartum depression. And also lastly, what I'm gonna talk about is things that you can do to prevent, I mean, um, to kind of like make you feel better, like how to cope with postpartum depression. One thing you can do, you can join groups with other moms. I think it's very important to surround yourself with people who understand what you're going through. Um, you can join groups on Facebook. It can it can be virtual, of course. Um, you also should get mom friends because don't nobody understand another a mom like another mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop talking to your friends who are not moms about how you feel. They don't know what they don't know. They will never be able to understand until unless they have a child. Like a lot of people who are not moms try to give moms advice on what to cook, what to do. Like, girl, mind your business and be quiet and sit back. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you're talking about. Um, they don't understand and never will be able to understand because they don't have kids. You feel me? So stop listening to them. And also another thing you should do, is you should get therapy because therapy will really help because they'll be able to, um, they'll be able to confirm that you're not crazy. You know what I mean? They'll be able to confirm that you're okay and this is normal. Like sometimes you just need reassurance to know that you're not crazy and you're not a bad mom. Um, and you should do things you enjoy. If that means you have to wake up two hours before your baby wakes up, start screaming and doing all of that. You should do that because it's going to help your mental health. And this is something that I had to do. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. And, and listen to music, write music, sing, do yoga, work out. You know what I'm saying? You got to do certain things before your child wakes up so you can have a life too because your life has just been snatched away from you overnight, basically. You feel me? So, like, you should do that. Um, and also, another thing you should do is sleep train your baby. Do not co-sleep with your child. Like, co-sleeping really stressed me out because your baby wake up in the middle of the night because they know they're right beside you when they start screaming and crying and you got to breastfeed them you got to get up you got to do certain stuff this is when they're at least a little bit older like a 10 months something like that like a newborn baby gonna scream and cry in the middle of the night regardless but it does make it it does it does help though co-sleeping because for me every time i hear my baby make a noise it gives me anxiety like this is and this is a symptom of postpartum depression is anxiety because as soon as you hear your baby you kind of jump I, I do the same thing even now when she's like She's one, she, you know what I mean? So I'm, and I'm still like jumping when I hear, uh, it gives me anxiety. Like, you know what I mean? So like you have to, I think that with me sleep training her and I get my own time to myself for a couple of hours and especially at night for the whole night, I can stay up and do whatever I want to do, whether it be look at some funny YouTube videos or work on something. Like you can do whatever you want to do when you're sleep training your child. But when you're not sleep training your child, you're conjoint with them 24 seven. You have no physical space physical alone time you feel me like yeah um i think also you, something you should do is my therapist told me to write two things that i'm grateful for every single day just to keep you like a high spirits you know at least sometimes um and you can understand and you need to understand that things can and will get better like as time goes on you'll look at your baby and you'll and you'll and you'll feel joy like it won't always be like that and there's nothing wrong with you and you should also should like create a strong relationship with god or whatever you believe in like you know what i'm saying because so you can know that things will not always be this hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to let you know that I've struggled with this. So like you're not crazy. And I want you to know that you can comment down below if at first did you think that you were crazy or something was wrong with you and now you feel okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Is that R backwards? You know what? I thought I did this thing, but it's just, you know what? Forget it. The next video is going to be the right way. What? Why would I do that?
why would I do that? Okay, but thank you so much again. My name is Ray, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and look at my other videos about parenthood because I be giving like good tips or whatever like that. And like, yeah, mind your business. Sign off. Bye. Peace, love, happiness, and let's beat this PPD.